Hello everyone, I hope everyone is doing well. In this video, we will solve another trust problem with the same method in which we have explained in the previous video. By method of join, the step by step procedure we have explained in the previous video. Here we will solve this problem using method of join. We will find internal forces in each member of the trust. So the step number one is first what we have to do we have to identify various elements of the trust or various members of the trust using proper notation. So we will just do the notation like let's say this is point A, B, this is C, this point is D and this point is E. So now we have different members. We have member AB, BC, CD, BE, CE and AE and ED. So all these members, what we have to do, we have to find internal forces in each of these members using method of join and we have to find whether the, uh, the force here is in tension or in compression. So this we will be doing in this problem. So first of all, what we will do, we, as we discussed in the previous video, we will need this theta here, right? So let us find the theta from the start. So this theta, is here the angle between AB and AE. Now how we will find this theta? If you look here the height of the truss is given 4.8 meter and if I make a small triangle like here from AB to this point and then I join here so this small right angle triangle is here. Now from here I can find theta AZ. How? Theta here is equal to tangent inverse this height which is 4.8 divided by the base which is here the 3 meter. So if I use tangent inverse 4.8 divided by 3 I can find the theta and theta here will be equal to 58 degree. This is the theta which is here. So the same theta will be here also. Right? We need this in the calculation. Now how we will do? We need to find the reaction, but reactions are already given. 7 kN here at this support and 5 kN at this support. So no need to find reaction. Straight we will go and we will separate one joint and draw its free body diagram. Right? But before solving the problem, again we have to set our sign convention, which is positive here, positive here and clockwise moment is positive. So I will draw, we will start from joint A, draw free body diagram of joint A and we will find A, B and A, E. So free body diagram of joint A will look like this. Look here. We have this member A, E. Here we will have A, B. And we have this 7 kN force. Again, I repeat why I have taken here away from the joint AE and away from the joint AB. Because this is, I have assumed. And my assumption is that this force, the force in this member is in tension, and here also it is in tension. This is I have assumed. And we don't know whether it is in tension or in compression, but once we solve, we will find to know. So the theta here is 58 degree. Now if this truss is in equilibrium, so this joint itself, if we separate it and draw free body diagram which we have drawn, this is also in equilibrium. So we can apply condition of equilibrium to find the unknown. What are the unknown? A, B and A, E. Now A, B how I can find? Look here, if I take some of the forces, in the y direction equal to 0. So I will write all forces acting in the y direction. Now look here, what are the forces acting in the y direction? This 7 kN is acting in the y direction. AB is not in the y direction, but a component of AB will be in the y direction. If I draw its vertical component and horizontal component, so vertical component will be AB 
साइन थीटा एंड हरिजेंटल कंपोनेंट विल बी ए बी कॉस थीटा सो द साइन थीटा कंपोनेंट इज एक्टिंग अपवर्ड इन दाई डायरेक्शन विच आई विल यूज इन दिस इक्वेशन सो लुक सेवन किलो न्यूटन प्लस ए बी साइन थीटा is equal to 0 this is the only these are the only forces acting in the y direction now i have to put theta here 7 plus ab sin 58 degree as we have found theta is 58 degree here now we will solve this for ab and ab will be equal to minus 7 divided by Sine theta, which is fifty-eight, so I will write fifty-eight. So from here, if I do this calculation, I will get a b equal to minus. Here is minus eight point two five kilo newton. So if it is minus here, and our assumed direction was that it is in tension, so it means it is not in tension and it is in compression. So this is A B we found. So we will write this A B here. Like all number we will write here. So A B is minus eight point two five kilo newton compression. Now from this joint we can also find A E. How we will find A E? Look here. If I take some of the forces in the x direction equal to zero. Now all forces acting in the x direction are what? A E acting to the right, so it will be positive. A E itself is acting, and cos component of A B is acting in the horizontal direction. So I can include in the some of the forces in the x direction. So plus A B cos theta equal to zero. Right? So A E is equal to minus A B. Cos fifty-eight degree. We know that A B is negative eight point two five, but we have assumed here tension, so we will use the negative sign. So it will be like A E equal to minus n to minus eight point two five in cos fifty-eight degree. This is five. Now, if you solve this, you will get A E is equal to minus into minus will plus, and it will be equal to four point three seven kilo newton. Now it is plus, so it means it is in tension. This is how we will find A E. So next member we found A E, which is equal to four point three seven. Kilo Newton and intention. This is what we did from this from this joint from joint A. Now the next step is to move to another joint where there are less unknown. Look, we can jump here from here to B joint B, and we can jump from A to E also. If we go to E, let's say how many unknown we will be have? We will have unknown B, E, C, E, and E D. Three unknown we will have, which is Seems to be complex, right? But if we jump to B, we will have two unknown B C and B E. So it is easy to solve joint B. So after this, I will move to joint B, and I will draw the free body diagram of joint B. Look here, how will be the free body diagram of joint B? Again, at joint B, I am assuming everything in tension, right? So I will have this one, which is B C. I will have this eight kilo newton force from top, right? Then I have B E acting here, and I have this A B, right? A B here. This is very important. A B here. We know from joint A that it is in compression, right? So here it is up to you. If you still want to assume that it is in tension, you can. But you will use the negative sign in the calculation, which is here with the AB. But if you want 
to you, you don't want to assume you want to use the right direction which we know which is in compression so you will use the arrow towards the joint and then we will not use the negative sign in the calculation but for simplicity we keep this one also let's say away from the joint a b and whatever calculation we will be doing we will use this negative sign right this negative sign we will use in the calculation now here from this joint which is joint b i have to find unknown what are the unknown be and bc so bc how i can find bc look i will take all the forces in the acting in the x direction so what are the forces acting in the x direction look bc is acting in the x direction now ab is having some angle here with the horizontal theta so look into the original figure if this angle is theta and i draw a line here so this angle will also be theta the alternate angles are always the same right so if this is theta this will also be 58 so this angle is also 58 now a b will have horizontal component and vertical component which i can show like this look here one is this one a b cos theta and one will be acting downward a b sin theta and the same i will have for b e i will have b e cos theta here and i will have one downward b e sin theta if i am using this theta and this theta will also be equal to 58 so now i know what are the forces acting in the x direction i will have to write to find bc so sum of the forces in the x direction equal to zero what are the forces in the x direction look a b cos theta it is acting to the left so one minus i will put like here now minus a b cos theta why i put this minus this minus is because of my sign convention all forces to the left i am taking negative as my sign convention is here right then bc itself is acting to the right and be cos theta is also to the right so i will add that be cos theta equal to zero so from this equation if you look i have two unknown bc and be and i have one equation so i cannot find these two unknown from one equation so what I will do at this stage, I will name this equation, equation 1. And I will move to another condition of equilibrium, which is let's say sum of the forces in the y direction equal to 0. So I will write here the equation for the y direction. So what are the forces here acting in the y direction? At joint B, A, B sin theta acting downward, B, E sin theta acting downward and 8 kN acting downward. So let me write downward, so that's why I will put negative sign A B sin theta minus B E sin theta minus 8 kN equal to 0. Now in this equation, I know A B, I have found here only B E is unknown, so I can find B E from this equation right i will put the value minus into the value of a b which is minus 8.25 so i will put minus 8.25 sine 58 minus b e i don't know sine 58 and minus 8 kilonewton equal to zero so i will solve this equation just for find sine 58 multiply with minus 8.25 you have this minus so you can even cancel this with this one right if you want so it will become plus so you have to do the calculation and you will find b e right this one you can just put it in calculator and you will find 
BE and BE is equal to 1.18 kilonewton. BE is 1.18 kilonewton. But once you do this calculation, look, this will become positive, right? We have this one negative and this one also negative. So if you put this one here, right, it will become positive, and you have this one, which will become positive. So BE will be negative. So BE is 1.18 kilonewton, negative 1.18 kilonewton compression. So BE will be in compression. Now we know BE, right? We have to put BE in equation 1, this equation, right? Now put this BE in this equation. So this equation, I will write it here, look, minus a to minus 8.25, which is AB, cos 58, plus BC, which I don't know, plus BE, which is minus 1.18, cos 58, equal to 0. So now in this equation, everything we know, just use calculator to find, multiply these, this number, this number and bring it to the right side and you will find BC and BC from this will be equal to once you do this calculation you will get BC equal to 3.75 kilonewton in compression so negative sign will be here so it is in compression so BC is also in compression now what we found here, we found BC which is minus 3.75 kilonewton compression and we found BE also which is minus 1.18 kilonewton compression. So four member we found from these two joints. Right now, what we have to do next step is to move to another joint and find the remaining unknown. So I will erase this and then I will move to another joint. Right. So this one I will erase. We have noted down the the value here. So this is 7 kilonewton, I will rewrite. Now we have solved for joint A, we have solved for joint B. We know this member, we know this member, this member and this member. So again, if I jump directly to D, right, joint D, I will be able to find CD and I will be able to find ED. So this way I can find, but if I jump to joint E, so I will be able to find this one and this one. And this one will be remaining which I can find from D also. So let us solve it E. Let us solve joint E. So let me draw free body diagram of joint E. Look here. We have AD, we have AE, we have CE, and we have BE. All these forces are acting on joint E. Now again here I have assumed all are in tension and I will use condition of equilibrium. So to find ED, I can take some of the forces in x direction but I will have this one unknown again so it will be difficult to find from some of the forces in x directly 
But if we take some of the forces in y, we will have only one equation and one unknown and we will be able to find. So let me write some of the forces in y direction equal to 0. Now what are the forces in the y direction? If you look there is no direct force in the y direction if, um, the, at this joint. But this CE will have the horizontal component and vertical component which is CE sin theta and CE cos theta. Again this theta is also theta which is 58 degree. Right, similar way we can find how we did it in the previous trial. And we will have this BE also will have cos component which is BE cos theta and BE sin theta. So BE also sin theta will be there. Now what are the forces acting in the y direction? We have BE sin theta. And we have CE sin theta plus and that's it. These two will be equal to 0. So BE we know. We have found here BE is equal to minus 1.18 kN. And here we have assumed BE is in tension but we know it is in compression. So we will use the negative sign. So I will put minus into sorry 1 minus minus BE which is 1.18 sine 58 degree plus CE sine 58 degree equal to 0. So from here I can just write CE sine 58 equal to bring this term to the right side. So it will be plus 1.18 sine 58 degree. Right, so sine 58 we can cancel with sine 58 and we can say that CE is equal to 1.18 kN positive so it will be in tension. So CE we found from here 1.18 kN in tension. Now to find ED what I can do I can take some of the forces in the x direction equal to 0. Some of the forces in the x direction equal to 0. So what are the forces in the x direction? ED itself. The CE cos theta. It is positive because it is acting to the right. And BE cos theta. Which will be minus. Right. And AE. Again which is acting to the left. So it will be minus minus AE. Equal to 0. So all these forces, we know CE, from here we will put CE, BE we already know, we have calculated here, we will put here, and AE we have calculated here, so we will put all values here, and we will find ED. So once you put values here, right, theta is 58, here also 58, and put BE, AE, and CE value, you will get ED. Right? Once you do this calculation, so ED will be equal to 3.12 kN. 3.12 kN, it is positive, so it will be in tension. So these two, two members, ED and CE, we found from joint E. Right? So what is left? Only CD is left. The last one is CD, this member. So this member, if I draw joint D here, so look here, this is the free body diagram of joint D. So this will be ED, and we will have this one which is CD, and we have one force which is 5 kN. Again, this is theta, we know that this is theta and this is 58 degree. So we need to only to find CD. So look here, this CD will have its cos component and it will have its sin component. If we write equation for CD, so we can write some of all the forces in the y direction equal to 0. 
So I will have only one unknown and, and one equation. So look here, it is acting upward. So 5 kN, this reaction force plus Cd sin theta equal to 0. There is no other force in the y direction. So if I find Cd will be equal to minus 5 divided by sin 58 degree. So Cd will be equal to, if you do this calculation, it is equal to 5.90 kN in compression. So in compression, it will, minus sign is here, this minus will be here. So we found Cd. So this way, we finish almost, yeah, we finish all. So we found AB, right? This member we found, which is here. We found AE, this member, which is here. We found BC, which is this one. BE, we found this member. We have ED, this one, which is here, right? CE also we found here, this one. And last was CD, this one was CD, and this one is CE. This is CE. So CE is this one and CD is this one and we found it here. So this is how we use method of joints to find internal forces in each member of the truss.